It's right now. Still got the well map yeah. on my screen. Ah, yes, the, the bunker. First oh, that's a big nade. The bunker was already set up on point, but you know that nade got thrown in and opened things up. I need both tanks to from the blue team. Uh, well, getting killed, but also both getting uh, a pick first and dark. Or even fights pointless as baby diva. Still, anyone's uh, contesting here, it seems. And yeah, we are going to see the far in this case from Black Rose. Ten, however, does get the first cap, which is uh, quite helpful to him. Yeah, but it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be difficult for Clarko Gumondara. Like, what's your point presence? Who's who you're playing on point? Yeah, and, like we saw both tanks. Uh, they got three kills together, but they also well both got killed first, which makes it difficult for them to yeah. uh, do as much as they potentially could. And then there's no one left to camp because there's Indeed. only Diva and Hammond that can be on point pretty much. Indeed. However, we'll have Black Rose and Crispy both their ultimates. Spite and Dark are pushing up close too, so uh, maybe if it's okay, they're gonna go for the Nano Hammond. Oh, Nano Stall the backline. However, the backline oh, Voidless is getting a lot of peel going for his backline. Yeah, huge. Which means peel. that Black Rose's uh, ultimate is not going to be as easy either. Dark Knight falls before he can get the like the self destruct, and yeah, Red Team is holding on to this one. Altium going wild on the doofus right now. Does get spotted out there, and Black Rose finds a very crucial pick, and they got the res off onto Yixi, which means that they will be uh, having some good damage angles. How my mines get dropped in? Antinate is well from nice, Crispy. Nice. That's uh, definitely a good start for him. Meantime, Crispy running for her life doesn't want to get picked off quite yet. Kick now finds herself in the thick of things. <laughs> no pistol mercy is quite yet. He's like himself a cobalt. Black Rose is opening up the barrage here. Does take down Crested, but falls shortly thereafter. Can they get the resurrection off it? That's the big question right now. Need to start from Algernon, we'll maybe make a bit of space for Koba, but Koba gets built back. No resurrect there. In the meantime, Spy does take a kill onto Ritter, but Algernon counts with a kill yeah, on Crispy. crispy. And I meantime, mean, they need to cap because we're just getting into a one-fight territory. I was about to say, Red Team is just pushing up their uh, control percentage and they're not letting go anytime soon. In fact, they even fight two more kills with Algernon and Voidless, uh, both getting an extra kill in there. Spy just swings back to his team. Jixi has not enough, he's going on to retrace, but ooh! Picks self destruct, finds Black Rose. Cruiser Stagger Cake might have to rest it, but in the meantime, Spite's already in the thick of things. And he falls too. This is going to be a last second ditch contest, but it's not going to be easy. Oh, and, a, and a bongo, oof. Having to push into that too. It's going to be a last second touch, but uh, who's going to be touching? Any volunteers? We Tracer. do. Jixie gets the first touch, and they get the res off onto Black Rose, but Jixie falls instantly, and so does Cake. It seems like Red Team, OBH, will make quite a comeback here. From being 1 0 down in the series to just, uh, well, you know, being putting the first king of the map. They get that. Oh, Crispy gets an ambush off just in time, but it's only Spider on the point. And all the <laughs> might just get destroyed by the shield. Spider has to hold her for as long as he can. He finds one kill on the strong piggy in the meantime, but does, can he get back onto point in time? No! <laughs> Algernon just like punches him into a corner and then uppercuts him as he tries to roll back. Spider was just trying to make the best of a worse situation. Yeah, maybe just stupid things, but Spider was doing what he could. He was the only one left on point, had the mines dropped yep. already. So, like, he got a kill. Just, I mean, there were four people keeping him out of the point. Maybe it's uh, yes. not going to be as easy to stay in there forever. And there we go, no well again. But I don't know. I I mean, I like that they didn't go bunker, but I don't think there was. Mm, it was I'll a viable composition for ruins because again, it was just Diva and Hammond who are both mobile heroes, and these are the only heroes that can play point because you have Farah Widow, and you know, obviously Anna cannot just go and contest yeah. bunker by herself. Not a can mercy. In black exactly. So the Sombra, though, and we see Ritter on top. Both teams are pulling out their tricks. I like it. I like the the, the, the Sombra, but will they have enough to contest Farah? Maybe uh maybe Jixi will have some good shots. We saw earlier how Backwards was able to sniper uh, snipe Redder out of the sky as uh, yeah. May that was. So Let's see how it goes now. At least they got some protection here for Jixi. And they get the first halt. Oh, going. Crispy fell down. Crispy fell down quickly and gets taken out quickly. But so does Crested. So uh yeah. But they resurrect. The the They're gonna resurrect it with the uh, immortality field. You'd think. Doesn't quite oh, fall in yet. Both teams are fighting equal, and Dark Knight takes the first kill into Algernon, but Red Team has established themselves on the point. It's a slight advantage for the blue team, but the first cap will go over to the Red Team, and Bunker comps can be hard to dislodge. Cobalt very validly flies in front of that, like, uh, halt hook combo. Does pay the price for it. The question is, how long can this uh, Red Team hold on to for this one? Voilus falls to spite, and Dark Knight takes another crucial kill, taking down, taking down both DPS in this fight. So, uh, Thirty. I mean, that that was a tricky spot to rest, but they really needed that Orisa in the fight. They kind of did, yeah. They got the first cap, but not much thereafter. However, Ritter will have his ultimate online, and you no, know, Jixi and Black was think have to be very careful because there's not like a Diva in their team, there's not really any mobility for them to uh, escape from a fire barrage if it hits them. Black was just get spotted, but teleports back to safety on her health pack. No health to combo there, sadly, for Spites and uh, Dark Dagger. Oh, and that's a big crispy. Cool. It's picked off early, and then Ritter's just setting up for the barrage. Jixi wants to try and stabilize and zone him out of it. 
does force an armor tile to feel and it is kind of low, so it's crested, so they might be able to capitalize with this. If they yeah, but there's it. only only Zenyatta for healing, that may not be enough. And then and there comes the backline barrage, you were waiting for it. Black Rose does eventually take it down, but only after three kills have only been found. In the meantime, Jixi's trying to, try to get this for as long as he can, before he's got an extra resurrect, and I must say he's doing quite well contesting, can't complain there. Definitely, right. but you know, I also want to just say that Crested's pulls and Voidless hooks are working pretty well. I feel like they executed a, a bit better than Clockwork Mandata's tank duo. Definitely, definitely. But uh, let's see if Clockwork Mandata will be able to turn around because they have a lot of ults in the bank now. Both supporters are going to be online soon. They're going to have EMP, which is very strong against the bunker in general. Uh, and, uh, and the bongos from uh, Spite, so we're going to be able to see if they can recontest because I don't see such strong ultimates being on the red team side. However, there's a Farah just right above them, and I have to pay attention to this, otherwise Ritter finds two picks instantly. This is what Red Team needed here. Yeah, they can't push in now. They, yeah, your Ritter, main tank, you know? main damage dealer, it's gone. Yeah, I know. Ritter just uses Barrage. Has it back again. <laughs> and also about time for Algenum, Strong Picky, and uh, Crescent to get back into the thick of things as well in terms of ult charge. So, I think Blue Team has some catching up to do here. Mm -hmm. But also, what do you, even if you EMP on point, what do you do then? Like, you don't have a Lucio to just speed into them, and there's a lot of cover on point. Indeed, and the fire will just, like, fly off somewhere else, so even if you, like, EMP the rest of the team, maybe the rest of the team will, will get barraged, as we're, we're, we were about to see, but they were alert this time, around a 70% mark for the red team, but... That was a big hook. Yeah, and they, they want to confirm it right Is here, that, and now Black Rose finds that a solo EMP. hog no. it? It was a uh, it was a two-man EMP. Cobalt was also hit by this one, so getting the Mercy and the Rogue is kind of alright. They do force an extra ultimate. Cake does use Transcendence as well. Dark Dagger finds three kills in this one, and an extra halt in there. Algium jumps off the map, and Foilus takes down oh, Dark Dagger very late. It gets an extra Foyless. kill. Foilus is not having it. Ritter is still alive on the point, at barely one HP, but they managed to stabilize just in time. There's still a Rogue behind him. I wonder if nope. yeah, Black Rose noticed. Almost. Almost. He was popping that breather, but not, not, it just didn't come soon enough. Oh, yeah, like you mentioned, but one fight territory now. Effort, like, it's a like they almost turn it around. Yeah, both whole hogs going for the environmental kills, I think. But uh, one fight territory, essentially, 91% for Red Team. If they cap it here and they win out the map, then they win out the first series, which is uh, one hell of an yes. opener, if you will. And they have some tools, but then again, so does Blue Team. So it's going to be an interesting fight to see who gets the crucial picks and who gets the best setup. And who gets nanoed on the... It's nanoed, yeah. On, I think it's maybe Spite, yeah. That's it, it could be Spite. Orissa. Right. Yeah, just uh, making sure that your tank doesn't die, which is very understandable if you do not have a red deck, but... Two picks come in, both DPS down for the blue side, and well, this has to be push time. No hook from Dark Dagger, in fact, he gets hooked himself, and Red Team is looking to capitalize and, and like, push it in here. Crispy falls as well, tries to touch the point, but it's not to be. A couple mere seconds left to touch soon enough. Jixi is going to get back on the tracer. We'll be able to touch Spite and Dark Dagger going on to the mobile tanks, Hammond and Diva. Black was sticking onto the Sombra and Cake will be going back to Moira once more. Can they touch? Tracer gets a first touch in. Overtime secure, that's good for him. Black Rose cannot touch from the other side. Spite going in from in the right Hammond. side. Coming in from downtown. Pops a self shield, but it's the barrage with Dark Dagger's back just in time to secure it. Like, at least that makes it doesn't kill everything. But this is just a scrappy fight right now, and it seems like it's going Red Team's favor. They get a hack off. Onto Foilus, who cannot uh, heal right now, but his team is there to protect him. Oh, and Cake falls as well. Darkness doesn't get to rematch. I think it's going to be Obehave making the comeback from being 1 0 down, securing a 5 4 map win on Dorado, and then finally securing the 2 0 here. Uh, we do have a best of 5 uh, thing set up, but that's uh, kind of it here. Do we? Is it best uh, of 3 or 5? Uh, no, it's best of 3. Okay, it's that's just a GG. So, um. Okay. Obehave will win their first map, or their first series rather, 2-1 to one against uh, Clockwork Mandata. And like I said, both teams were very close, and I think they definitely lived up to the hype here. 5-4 on definitely. both maps. Very uh, exciting matches, very close. It could have gone either matches. way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they all looked strong. Yeah, Obehave with a good opener, but from what we saw from Clockwork Mandata, like, they're definitely still in the running to uh, perhaps make a comeback or get a very like uh, high finish, though, because, I mean, they showed themselves a lot of relatively new players that we didn't know like a whole lot about. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, they established themselves here. Um, we are going to be back very soon because we will be uh, broadcasting another match. Basically, uh, right now we'll be playing Team Solo Old Galia, who I'm sure loves his name. Because <laughs> Galia's not on that team, versus uh, one of Skype. So if everyone watches too mad, then uh, you'll know what this one is about. But yeah, we'll be uh, back with that match uh, very shortly. We'll just be inviting the players. And then we'll uh, just set up with a new lobby very soon. Mm-hmm.